Hey, Green Ridge family, uh, just uh, wanted to get with you at the close of this uh, this year, 2020. Man, what a year it has been, but uh, just uh, still in the midst of everything that has gone on, we still praise the Lord. He has been so good and so faithful, and He will continue to be as we head into 2021 together. Uh, did want to encourage you that uh, beginning this Sunday, January the 3rd, uh, I'm going to be kicking off a new sermon series in 2 Peter, so uh, going to have a great time. Uh, that series is entitled uh, Holiness, Heresy, Hope, and so uh, all of those things are going to be wrapped up in 2 Peter, and going to have a great time just breaking that down, unfolding that together, and just seeing what God would have to, uh, to say to us. Also, this Sunday night at 6 o'clock, We'll be uh, kicking off a, a series on Sunday evenings entitled Praying at the Crossroads. Uh, it is the, the desire of, uh, of my heart and the heart of all of, our, all of your pastors that we really um, uh, just refocus in the area of prayer and really want to make 2021 a, a more uh, just focused time of, of praying together and uh, and just making that a, a personal habit that becomes more primary with it, within each and every one of us. I know I desire that for myself, and I want to lead you, church family, shepherd you well in that area. And so uh, I hope that you'll partner with us. Join us on Sunday nights as we go through this study together. It's going to be very uh, rich and rewarding. So uh, excited about that as well. Uh, as you start the new year, my challenge to you is that you will take this fresh start, if you will, uh, like we do every year, but really make it a focus to, uh, to really dig into God's Word, to read your Bible consistently. Uh, maybe it's reading through the New Testament. Maybe it's reading through the whole Bible. I don't know. Uh, but really focus on being in God's Word. Bring discipline into your life. We all need more of that. Uh, I don't know about you, but the pandemic uh, can make us lazy. It has probably made many of us lazy in, in some regards. Uh, but let us be de determined to be disciplined people, especially when it comes to consuming God's Word. Or it might be that you look at Right Now Media and find some studies, or, or you uh, go through YouTube even and, and find some good resources there. And if you need help with that, ask us as pastors. We want to help you with that. Uh, just like Second Peter is going to show us, there's a lot of false teachers. There's a lot of bad teaching out there. So let us be a resource to you. Help us, let us shepherd you in letting us help direct you in that. So uh, please reach out to us. We will uh, be more than happy to, to help you in that. And uh, and want to kind of give you a little heads up in advance. After we get done with Second Peter, uh, we're going to do just a short little brief series in the book of Habakkuk. Now, <coughs> excuse me, probably need to wipe that off the screen there. But uh, Habakkuk is a, a, just a great book. You'll be amazed at just how practical that book is as it relates to our current culture and the age that we live in. So uh, just kind of give you a heads up on that. You might be reading ahead in regards to that. So uh, very excited, looking forward to uh, gathering once again this Sunday uh, in 2021. So uh, for uh, for most of us, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, just kind of a, a great start to the new year as we kick off Second Peter. But uh, don't forget to reach out to one another, love one another in multiple ways. Uh, phone calls, uh, just texting people, Facebooking, emailing, whatever. Just uh, even the old-fashioned card is is always a blessing. So uh, whatever way you can, reach out to those who are in your Connect group and even beyond, especially those who are widows, widowers and all. Uh, really reach out and minister to them. But uh, looking forward to hooking up with you again this Sunday, church family. Until then, Happy New Year and God bless.